Do not spoil what you have by desiring what you have not. Remember that what you now have was once among the things you'd only hoped for. Is God willing to prevent evil but not able? Then he is not omnipotent. Is he able but not willing? Then he is malevolent. Is he both able and willing? Then whence cometh evil? Is he neither able nor willing? Then why call him God? Death, therefore, the most awful of evils, is nothing to us, seeing that when we are, death is not come, and when death is come, we are not. He who is satisfied with a little is satisfied with nothing. Of all the means to ensure happiness throughout the whole life, by far the most important is the acquisition of friends. Why should I fear death? If I am, then death is not. If death is, then I am not. Why should I fear that which can only exist when I do not? Long time men lay oppressed with slavish fear. Religious tyranny did domineer. At length, the mighty one of Greece began to ascend the liberty of man. The wealth required by nature is limited and easy to procure but the wealth required by vain ideals extends to infinity. Death does not concern us, because as long as we exist, death is not here, and when it does come, we no longer exist. You don't develop courage by being happy in your relationships every day. You develop it by surviving difficult times and challenging adversity. It is folly for a man to pray to the gods for that which he has the power to obtain by himself. Not what we have, but what we enjoy constitutes our abundance. It is not so much our friend's help that helps us as the confident knowledge that they will help us. I have never wished to cater to the crowd for what I know they do not approve and what they approve I do know. The art of living well and the art of dying well are one. If the gods listened to the prayers of men, all humankind would quickly perish since they constantly pray for many evils to befall one another. Never say that I have taken it, only that I have given it back. I was not, I was, I am not, I care not. He who has peace of mind disturbs neither himself nor another. I am writing this not to many, but to you. Certainly we are a great enough audience for each other. Do not spoil what you have by desiring what you have not. Don't fear the gods. Don't worry about death. What is good is easy to get, and what is terrible is easy to endure. Empty is the argument of the philosopher which does not relieve any human suffering. The noble man is chiefly concerned with wisdom and friendship. Of these, the former is a mortal good, the latter an immortal one. The fool's life is empty of gratitude and full of fears. 
its course lies wholly toward the future. Nothing is sufficient for the person who finds sufficiency too little. We must therefore pursue the things that make for happiness, seeing that when happiness is present, we have everything, but when it is absent, we do everything to possess it. He who says either that the time for philosophy has not yet come, or that it has passed, is like someone who says that the time for happiness has not yet come, or that it has passed. To eat and drink without a friend is to devour like the lion and the wolf. It is better for you to be free of fear lying on a pallet than to have a golden couch and a rich table and be full of trouble. Be moderate in order to taste the joys of life in abundance. The greater the difficulty, the more the glory in surmounting it. All friendship is desirable in itself, though it starts from the need of help. The gods can either take away evil from the world and will not, or being willing to do so, cannot, or they neither can nor will, or lastly, they are able and unwilling. He who least needs tomorrow will most gladly greet tomorrow. Death is nothing to us. Since we are, death has not come. And when death has come, we are not. The time when you should most of all withdraw into yourself is when you are forced to be in a crowd. Let no one delay the study of philosophy while young, nor weary of it when old. Misfortune seldom intrudes upon the wise man. His greatest and highest interests are directed by reason throughout the course of life. Vain is the word of that philosopher which does not heal any suffering of man. A right understanding that death is nothing to us makes the mortality of life enjoyable, not because it adds to it an infinite span of time, but because it takes away the craving for immortality. For there is nothing terrible in life for the man who has truly comprehended that there is nothing terrible in not living. I was not. I have been. I am not. I do not mind. The wise man who has become accustomed to necessities knows better how to share with others than how to take from them so great a treasure of self-sufficiency that he has found. I never desired to please the rabble. What pleased them I did not learn, and what I knew was far removed from their understanding. The most important consequence of self-sufficiency is freedom. We should look for someone to eat and drink with before looking for someone to eat and drink. It is not the pretended but the real pursuit of philosophy that is needed, for we do not need the appearance of good health, but to enjoy it in truth. Of all the things which wisdom acquires to produce the blessedness of the complete life, for the greatness is the possession of friendship. <laughs>